examination of cylindrical axis and its power, students will be able to learn the identification of astigmatism, whether astigmatism is present or not, power refinement and axis refinement. These are the pictures of uh, Jackson cross cylinder. It is showing two different powers, plus minus 0.25 diopters and plus minus 0.5 diopters. These are the two powers that are available in our clinical practices. Now, what is cross cylinder? Cross cylinder is a type of toric lens used during refraction. What is toric lens? Toric lens is a combination of lens of two different optical bars uh, and a uh, focal lens perpendicular to each other. These lenses behave like the ferroselectrical lenses. The use of these lenses are in those people who are wearing contact lenses and have a system as it covers both corneal and lenticular astigmatism. Cross cylinder is also known as slip cylinder. Its use was popularized by Edward Jackson and it is often referred as Jackson cross cylinder. Now we will talk about the construction of cross cylinder. It is a combination of two cylinders of equal strength but with opposite signs placed with axis at right angles to each other and mounted in pointed. I have a cross cylinder. This is a cross cylinder. So as it is written over here, it is a combination of two cylinders of equal strength but with opposite signs. Here uh, one is minus and other is plus. It will have equal strength but with opposite sign. And the axes are right angle to each other and mounted in angle. The axes are at right angle. One is at 90 degree and the other is at 180 degree and these, it is uh, mounted in a angle. JCC is a spherocylindrical lens in which the power of the cylinder is twice the power of the sphere and of the opposite sign. The lens is mounted on a handle which is placed 45 to the axis of the cylinder. Now the axis of the lenses are at right angles to each other. Minus is at 90 degree, plus is at 180 degree. And the handle is at 45 degrees to the axis. The commonly used cross cylinders are of plus minus 0.25 diopters and plus minus 0.5 diopters. We have two powers available for cross cylinder that is plus minus 0.25 diopters and 0.5 diopters. It was all about the construction of uh, cross cylinder. Now the uh, it also comes with color codes. If it is UK manufactured, then the minus axis will have white dots and plus axis will have red dots. Now, how will we conduct the test of cross cylinder? Give best visual activity by fogging. The goal, if astigmatism is present, is to place the circle of least confusion of the term phonite on the retina, thus creating mixed astigmatism. What we will assess uh, during the test, first of all, we will discover the astigmatism, whether the patient have astigmatism or not, Number two, we will go for refinement of excess. And number three, we will go for refinement of cylindrical power. So first of all, we will discover astigmatism. If no cylindrical correction is present initially, the cross cylinder is placed arbitrarily at 90 or 180 degrees to check for astigmatism. If a preferred flip position is found, a cylinder is added with the X parallel to the respective axis plus or minus axis of the cross cylinder until the two flip choices are equal. Now, after the completion of our reflection, our spherical reflection, we will discover whether the patient have astigmatism or not. So what will we do for that? We will place cross cylinder in front of our spherical correction 
first first say first you will say so it's like at 90 degree and then 180 degree and we will flip like this and we will ask patient if there is any preferred position in both flip position if he says that both position both flip positions are equally clear then it means patient does not have astigmatism and he does not require any astigmatic correction but if he appreciate one flip position then we will give him cylindrical correction <clears throat> if no preference preference is found with cross cylinder at 90 or 180 degree the 45 and 135 should always be checked to mean that no is present is present now what can we do if patient is saying the vision is clear in both flip position at 90 degree and 180 degrees then we will change the axis to 135 and 45 like this we will place it like this and we will ask the patient if there is any preferred position in both flip positions and if he still says that uh, there is no appreciation of uh, visual equity and he does not appreciate visual equity in even at 45 and 135 axis then he does not require astigmatic correction but if he appreciates any flip position at 90 degrees 180 degree 45 or 135 axis then we will go for axis refinement now the second step is refinement of axis after identification of astigmatism we will refine the axis of uh, cylinder. Axis refinement is always done first because the corrective axis can be found in the presence of incorrect power, but the full cylindrical power cannot be found with incorrect axis. For axis refinement, the cross cylinder is held before the eye with its handle parallel with the axis of the fire cylinder. Now, to refine the axis and bar, it is very important how to place the cross cylinder. The students must know that how to place cross cylinder before I, because if the placement of cross cylinder is not accurate, then the test would be not accurate. So for axis refinement, the placement of cross cylinder is different, and for power refinement, the placement of cross cylinder is different. So now we will learn how we will place cross cylinder in axis refinement. The cross cylinder is held before the eye with its handle parallel with its axis of the cross cylinder. The cross cylinder is flipped on both sides and patient is asked to tell about any change in visual equity. If patient notices no difference in the two positions, then axis of the plan that is correct. The visual equity in both cylindrical corrections is present. The cross cylinder is held in the preferred position and the axis of the trial cylinder rotated slightly towards the axis of the same time on the cross cylinder. Now, how will we perform the test for axis refinement? Now, this is cross cylinder and behind is the cylindrical bar. For say, if uh, uh, behind there is a, a 0.5 diopter cylinder is present at 90 degree. Then we will sure that the handle is parallel with the axis of the trial lens. This is very important for axis refinement. We will align handle of cross cylinder with axis of correcting cell. Now we will flip. The cross cylinder, we will flip like this on both sides, and patient is asked to tell about any change in visual equity. If a patient does not appreciate any change and the visual equity is the same in both flip positions, then the axis of trial lens is correct. It means that at 90 degree, the patient the axis of uh, correcting cell is 90 degree and it is correct. But if visual equity improves in any of two positions, then we 
we will slightly rotate towards the axis and we will find the correct uh, axis. The process is repeated until the triangle appears in correct axis for the eye. We will keep rotating the axis to 5 degrees until there is a, there, uh, a point is reached when there is no uh, preferred disposition and the patient appreciates both dispositions equally. Now, the third point is refinement of the cylindrical part. How will it is the third test of cross cylinder in which a how will be refine the cylindrical parts? Cross cylinder is held with its axis parallel to axis of the cylinder in the triangle. First, with the semicircle and then opposite side. If visual equity does not change in either position, the power of the cylinder in the twelve frame is correct. Now, this is the very important thing, as I already mentioned, that for power refinement, the placement of cross cylinder will be different. Now. The axis, if we uh, appreciate 90 degree, then we will align the axis of cross cylinder at 90 degree, not handle. In axis refinement, we were making uh, the aligned handle with the axis. Now we will align axis with axis for power refinement. And uh, same if patient will appreciate any flip position, then what will we do? We will slide, uh, change the power. If visual equity improves in any position, then uh, we will change the power until no preferred position is reached. It was all about today's topic. I hope you understand it. Thank you very much.